Poverty, it's you. Welcome, it's good to see you again. We are here in the heart of Bryanston once again. And this is Devonshire Road, one of the most exclusive roads in a very, very exclusive area. A stone throw away from the four-way CBD, a nice up-and-coming CBD, as well as Santon CBD, so you know you're not gonna be sitting in traffic for too long. But this home is something special about it. It is bringing the bushveld to Bryanston. So follow me in, because I think it is time for me to show you this house. So as we walk in to this property, the first thing you see is this double wide entrance hall with this beautiful bamboo flooring. Now this house is 860 meters squared inside with 2622 meters squared of ground space. There is tons and tons of space here. And as you can see, we're walking through this beautiful home. This home has been made to bring that game lodge vibe into Bryanston and into this urban area. As you can see on my right, there's these beautiful river stone feature wall. And if we carry on, just on my right over here, there is a mahogany fireplace that brings so much warmth into this house. Again, double vaulted ceilings with this thatch. Mm, it smells like I'm in the Kruger. Now this house is retailing for just about 7 million rand. And we're gonna talk more about how you can purchase this house very, very shortly. Follow me and let me show you as this is the first lounge feed, let me show you the second one. So as you walk off the sitting room, as soon as you come into the house, you've come now to a smaller, although nothing in this house is small by any standards, but a smaller and more personal sitting room. This could be a cigar room, this could be your TV room, this could be really anything you want of it. And the first thing you've noticed are these floor to halfway ceiling curved windows behind me. And it's another architectural design throughout the house where they do these curved windows. It gives you such a nice 180 degree view of your grounds. And in this case, that beautiful, beautiful blue pool. But another thing that this lounge does is this lounge opens up into the first of the two dining areas. A little bit of a more formal dining area. And what you'll do is you'll come right up these stairs and you are leading into it immediately and it is placed just off the two sitting rooms. And as you can see, it's perfectly sized to seat six people. Again, it's got some beautiful windows in here, letting in a lot of natural light with this high ceiling and this chandelier that really does encapsulate that Bushveld vibe, again, in the heart of Bryanston. It really is a place of relaxation. Um, more than something that you'd come in and feel like you're in a home. It does feel like you're in a holiday here. But follow me, let me take you to the kitchen. And as we come around the corner, we immediately be led into the kitchen slash dining room nook area. On the left, beautiful little nook for you to sit down and enjoy breakfast with your family. And on the right, a entertainer's dream kitchen. This kitchen here, as you can see, has got sandstone granite toppings, as well as a four burner gas stove with two electric gas hobs. And the immediately what you'll see is just how open and free-flowing this is where you can sit here and prepare a meal for your family and still be able to talk to everybody sitting in the dining area. But another very, very cool feature of this kitchen is just how much storage space it has. So on my right, you can see just how big the area for your fridges are. Your double door fridges will fit there very, very easily. And as we come in here, ample, ample, ample storage space. But another key feature of this kitchen is our double oven here. D5, and as you can see, the Gemini Gourmet range. So for all of you budding chefs out there, this kitchen is already catering for you. Now as we move forward, you'll see that this hallway over here leads off to a scullery. That is where you'll be putting all your appliances, your dishwashers, your tumble dryers, your washing machines, and they are out of the way. You will see ample kitchen space and kitchen cupboard space on your right hand side as well as on your left hand side as well as a lot of space for your different appliances, your dishwashers, your washing machines, your tumble dryers, they can all fit here and fit away from prying eyes. Another really cool feature about the scullery is your double kitchen sink. So all your dishes after a hearty meal, you can throw into the scullery, put them away, and they're out of sight until you can deal with them a little bit later. But we've got a lot more to show you, so let's go along. Off the left of the hallway, you'll find yourself in the study. The study has floor to ceiling windows letting in a lot of light and air which is exactly what you need during your early mornings and late nights working. The study incorporates the same beautiful thatch letting in that aroma as the rest of the house does. It also has bookshelves on both sides of it which you can take mighty good use of if you bring it in your novels. 
And here we are at the end of the hallway, but we are far from showing you everything that this house has to offer. And right now I'm gonna be taking you into the master bedroom. So let's go take a look. And here we are within the master suite. And this suite has so many things that really do scream presidential. And one of the first is those floor to ceiling windows. 180 degree views of the grounds. It really is such a presidential feel standing here and looking at it. It makes me think of the White House. Another really cool feature of this master suite is the backing. Take a look at that wallpaper. They've really done a cool job of bringing in, even though the bed is recessed, bringing in that wall. Ample space for a king size bed here. You can see inside the recess. I just wanna lie back and kick it off for the rest of the day. But that is not all within this master suite. And we're gonna be showing you the ensuite bathroom and just what that has to offer as well. Let's go. And leaving the master suite, we have come in to the ensuite bathroom. To my left, you will see the double vanities that should stop a lot of fighting in the morning. And on my right, you'll see a very luxurious jacuzzi bath, as well as a double spaced shower. And if you look very closely in that shower, there's beautiful windows right in front of you so that you've got the view of this outside private garden. And if you follow me outside, you'll see with these super high walls, it offers you a lot of privacy. This is a little oasis, a bubble away from the outside area. But it's not the only thing you can do here. And if I whip off this jacket, I can very much go and enjoy this outdoor shower. Now we're gonna take a look at what the upstairs has to offer, but I'm gonna need you for that. Come on, let's go. As you arrive at the top of the landing, you'll be greeted by two different bedrooms, one on the left and one on the right. The left side bedroom is a guest room and the right side is a feature bedroom. So let's take a look at our right hand bedroom. Throughout the tour, I've spoken how this house brings so much of that lodge-like living to Bryanston and nothing encapsulates that more than this bedroom. It brings in a feel like you are at a safari with the way that they've incorporated the bed and the bathroom behind it. And as you can see, just to my left, again, that 180 degree views of the outside, as well as a balcony. Let's go take a look at that. Now our left hand side room has you covered with windows and lighting, as well as a full bathroom area to your right hand side. So if you come with me on this side here, you'll see the bathroom area leads all the way across the guest bedroom into a shower, a full bath, as well as a vanity suite there. The bedroom's just in front of me, the bed's in front of me. It again brings in that lodge living. It is so peaceful here, it cannot be understated. Another really cool feature about this room is that window looks onto the garden. The grounds here are huge, and it's something that all of the architecture within this place takes advantage of, and I love that design feature. Checkmate. And let me tell you what else you need to check in this entertainment area. The first on my right is a built-in jacuzzi, which I'm sure must be tons of fun whenever you're hosting a braai, whenever you're having friends over, because this area here is an entertainer's dream. We've got a full-on seating area. Let me just move that baby out the way. Full-on seating area here for your friends. We have got a lounge suite there when you want to have a little bit of a party, which after COVID, I'm sure every single person wants to do. After lockdown, another thing a lot of people are going to want to do is take advantage of this built-in bar. It is right there behind us. Another thing is just behind me, you'll see that there is seating that is built in, recessed off the wall underneath the windows that you can take advantage of and enjoy while relaxing out here and enjoying the incredible South African sunsets. This area also provides spectacular views of the grounds in front of us, as well as the pool area. And I'm very, very keen to show you more of that right now. The house is surrounded by expansive grounds. Following this pathway leads you to an idyllic swing, smartly placed away from the main house. As you move up the hill, you see the feature posts of the house holding up the second story balcony. Moving off to the left, we have another shaded sitting area, the perfect place to enjoy a Sunday cup of tea. This is also where the main room's outdoor shower is located. Some other features of the house to consider is the massive double garage, easily tall enough and wide enough to fit two cars of various size, length and height. 
Also, something to definitely keep in mind is the security measures the owners have taken. There's 10 strand electric fence surrounding the property, as well as an intercom system and a camera system. Another thing I'd definitely like to mention is the beautiful water features that you find throughout the house. Specifically, as soon as you walk into it, the water feature almost overwhelms the senses. Again, bringing in such a nice holiday, out in the bush felt vibe throughout the house. So from myself, Chad Viveros, and the whole team at Private Property, we hope that you find your dream home. Thank you and goodbye. Welcome to a six bedroom, six bathroom, 1,000 square meter mega mansion in Bryanston. This is number 42A St. Audley. My name is Chad Riveros and I'll be taking you all over this country showing you the most exclusive properties South Africa has to offer. And today it's all about living presidential. A perfect marriage of high ceilings and glass, the driveway and motorcade lead you to the front door and a palatial entrance hall. Through the entrance hall, we pass two seating areas on the left and right, as well as a cozy reception area and come to a centerpiece wrought iron staircase leading up to the second level. One out of the five seating areas greets us directly off of the staircase, with beautiful views of the grounds surrounding the house can be enjoyed from the second story balcony. The first bedroom we're going to be looking at is located on the top floor, sharing those green views off of not one, but two personal balconies with an ensuite bathroom that houses both a toilet and a shower fit for a king. With three incorporated shower heads, this bathroom is sure to please. Here we have the second bathroom, also with its own personal balcony. Our third upstairs bedroom is perfectly situated to take advantage of the light, even during a rainy day like this, and offers stunning views of the sand and skyline off of its rear balcony. Another ensuite bathroom complements the package. This one, also with an ensuite bathroom, houses a standalone bathtub. This room is one of my favorites, as on a clear day, the views from its massive balcony are absolutely stunning. Welcome to the master suite. These rooms, as I'm sure you've noticed, are exceptionally large, fit for a house of this stature. Each with its own balcony, the master bedroom steps it all up a notch. With plenty of glass and sunlight, as well as some strategically placed frosted glass, allowing in light, but still allowing you your privacy. The master bathroom continues the theme of excess. With a fully enclosed glass shower and two three-head shower units, this is the epitome of opulence. The master bathroom also has a double vanity as well as a freestanding bathtub for those relaxing soaks on a rainy day like this one. Heading downstairs, we're introduced to a chef's dream. A closed off kitchen with ample cupboards, windows aplenty and countertop space to cater to even the most demanding of Sunday dinners. This kitchen also has a built-in bean to cup coffee machine as well as a microwave oven with a state-of-the-art six burner gas stove and electric oven. 
Off the side of the kitchen, you have a scullery nook that allows you to place appliances and dishes out of the way, keeping the main kitchen clean and tidy. Outside of the kitchen, we have a large dining room and lounge area with floor to ceiling windows and stackable glass doors. This is an incredible area, allowing you to feel like you're dining outside regardless of the weather. Off of the main entrance hall is a guest bathroom as well as some office space. Taking the main entrance hall stairs down leads you to the ground floor area. Currently undergoing renovations, this area would make for a perfect cigar lounge with a soon to be wine cellar neighboring it to the left and soon to be home theater system coming in on the third room. At the far end of the ground floor area, you'll find the laundry room. Coming back upstairs, we explore the two sitting rooms adjacent to the entrance hall, both offering views of the garden area through the floor to ceiling windows, as well as the guest bedroom located above the six car garage. But I'm where you are, you know I said I ooh, won't leave your side They left you bare But I'm begging you there in my eyes for you Yeah, I took my life And I'm not here to hear you say you're fine I can take the pain you hold inside I wanna know, wanna see it we have a second TV room located between the entrance hall and dining room area and leading straight onto the outside veranda. This 1,500 square meter Bryanson mansion has a large garden with a pool and covered patio removed from the main house that would make for the perfect area to sit and relax, enjoying the views of the house that you've worked very hard for, as well as possibly enjoying a tasty meal from the Bry. This house is surrounded by a 10 strand electric fence and also houses a guard house built into the wall with a window overlooking your outside driveway. That driveway is guarded by a 10 foot tall iron gate and an intercom system that connects directly to your cell phone. I wanna know, wanna see it. Can I feel you crib tonight? Can't get this off my mind. I does it own you control you? Let me in, I'll help you out. I won't lose you this time. And there you have it folks, mega mansion living in the heart of Bryanston. This was very, very fun for me and I cannot wait to see you all next time where we show you more luxurious properties. But right now, I've got a plane to catch. Goodbye. Welcome to the Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Viveros and I'll be taking you all around SA, showing you some of the most luxurious properties South Africa has to offer. And today we are in Pretoria East, soon to be South Africa's richest square mile, situated right now in Menland, Maine. And right over there on the 15th floor, we have a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment going for 5.7 million that I cannot wait to show you. So come with me.
Welcome to the 15th floor, the coolest and most impressive view you're going to see anywhere in Menland, Maine. This balcony is one of the two within this apartment and it has space for both a gas bry as well as some storage space behind me where you can even fit an aircon. However, let's take you to the crowning glory of the apartment and that is the master bedroom. Come with me. And here we are within the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom has got a lot of space but also a lot of attention to detail has been paid throughout the room. The first thing that I really like are these cupboards. They've turned a wall that would generally just be a wall of cupboards into a feature wall. These cupboards sliding on hinges both top to bottom with a safe in one of them. And these attention to details I feel really does turn an apartment that just might be average into a beautifully crafted apartment. There's also, as I mentioned, a lot of space here and a lot of space in bedrooms becomes very important when you start looking at what types of beds you want to put in them. This here is a queen bed and there would be no problem fitting in a king with extra length. However, my favorite feature within this bedroom is the bathroom behind me, which I'm sure you can already see. So let's go and explore that. A great deal of thought has been placed within the conservation of space within this apartment. There's a glass wall dominating the shower, separating it from the rest of the bathroom and allowing you to enjoy those 180 degree views of Pretoria, which is incredible because Pretoria, one of the few cities that still has remained as green as it is. And as you can see behind me, those yields rolling in the background must make for incredible showers as well as baths. As you can see on the right hand side of me, there's a floating bathtub, Hunscrow taps, within all of the apartment and this nice floating basin with a very very big mirror and floating toilets really does lend an air of sophistication towards an otherwise ordinary apartment. Coming out of the master bedroom you'll find yourself in the kitchen. This kitchen is dominated by marble countertops throughout. It also has three very very thoughtful features that I absolutely love. The first of those features is the cupboard that houses your washer dryer. The second is the cupboard that houses your microwave. My third favorite feature of this kitchen is the Hunscrow tap that has an inbuilt shower head. How easy would it be to clean up your dishes with this? Both of the sinks are melee, as well as both of the appliances behind me and the oven over here. Moving forward, we've also got a melee stove top which is touch sensitive. So it's very, very easy to keep clean, not needing to go through the knobs. The tiles throughout this unique apartment also act as a feature splashback behind the stove. The apartment also has space for a double door fridge. Over here, at the end of the kitchen, we've got an inbuilt wood top breakfast nook. You can have breakfast here while enjoying the incredible views outside. And another very, very cool feature and very thoughtful from the developers is this over here. You've got these cupboards here that I'm sure many of you would think can just be storage space but not within this apartment. We've got a coffee nook that's built in over here. Plenty of storage space at the bottom with everything a caffeine lover needs. Let's close this up, we're not in use, and look at the uninterrupted facade. Moving into the living room area, a very, very cool point of this is everything you see here today, everything you see in this video, is all included with this apartment. Other than, unfortunately, the paintings. But this living room area is essentially a place for you to enjoy the 180 degree views you get from this balcony of Pretoria, the light and the air. Another very, very cool feature within both of the bedrooms and this living room are right at the top of the sliding doors, there are hatch windows that you can open up and letting a little bit more fresh air. But that is not all that you get with this apartment. So let's go take a look at the second bedroom and bathroom. Here we are within the second bedroom and ensuite bathroom. And you'll see this theme of space conservation continues. It's so easy within apartments of this size to feel small. And that is never the case here. Within this bathroom, there is a floor to ceiling glass enclosed shower, as well as floating toilet and a massive double volume vanity. 
Moving in to the bedroom again, plenty of light, plenty of air. It's shared across the apartment and it really is so easy to enjoy it here. But there's no better place to enjoy it than your own personal balcony. You can sit on that balcony having your morning coffees, using that coffee nook and getting the most out of it. This bedroom has also got plenty of space for a king size bed and also has those featured sliding cupboards. Thank you very much for joining us viewing this stunning two bedroom, two bathroom, 5.7 million rent property on the 15th floor in the heart of Mainland Maine. And we'll see you next time on the Home Shopper Show, proudly brought to you by Private Property.